This topic will discuss Barbot test, a modification of Allen's test using pulse oximetry instead of observing the color of the hand. Allen's test is often used to assess the efficacy of collateral circulation in the hand through the superficial and deep palmar arches. It is done prior to radial artery cannulation for pressure monitoring, diagnostic coronary angiography and coronary interventions. Modified version of Allen's test using pulse oximetry and plethysmography is known as Barbo test. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Initial description of Allen's test was for the evaluation of patency of the circulation of the hand in thromboangitis obliterans or Burgers disease. In the original Allen's test, both hands were tested simultaneously and compared while in the modified Allen's test, only one hand is tested at a time. Barbo test utilizes pulse oximetry and plethysmography to assess the palmar arches. They reported that this method is more sensitive than modified Allen's test. Using their method, only 1.5% of patients were not suitable for radial approach, while modified Allen's test excluded 6.3%. A good illustration of typical plethysmography tracings in the four types of responses, that is type A, B, C and D, are illustrated in the free full text article by Kotovix and May and Associates. Patients with type D response of complete absence of plethysmography tracing at 2 minutes of radial compression should not undergo transradial catheterization of that wrist. In Barbo test, pulse oximeter is placed on the ipsilateral thumb and the plethysmography tracing noted. The radial artery is then compressed for occlusion and change in tracing noted. Pulse oximeter reading is also noted. If constant reading is noted, it is positive pulse oximetry and if no reading is found, it is negative pulse oximetry. Response of plethysmography is classified into four types. Type A, there is no change in plethysmography tracing throughout the two minutes of occlusion. Type B, there is an initial drop in the amplitude which recovers fully at two minutes of occlusion. Type C, tracing becomes a straight line on radial artery occlusion but recovers partly to a low amplitude tracing at 2 minutes of occlusion. Type D, tracing becomes a straight line on radial artery occlusion and remains so throughout. There is uninterrupted arterial filling during radial occlusion in types A and B. Recruitment of collaterals is possibly the reason for type C response with delayed appearance of pulsatile tracing. These patients could be excluded from radial artery catheterization based on conventional modified Allen's test. Patients with type D response do not have pulsatile collateral flow and are excluded from radial catheterization. Others reported that using this method, they did not have a single case of hand ischemia in over 7000 patients undergoing transradial procedures at the institution. Here are some important references on Barbo test. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.